been thinking about David. About his behavior. What about it? You told him that if he did not like it here, he could always go back home. And he said that we had burned all our bridges and can never return home again. But that's not true. He could always sail home. What really is to stop him? Nothing. No. Well, he has a reason to stay. Far from wanting to leave this island, he wants to stay because he wants to be king of it. He could never be king in Katagat. But here, an uninhabited land, a new world, harsh or not, he could be king of it all. But first, he has to undermine your authority. He has to turn people against you. That's what he's been trying to do. Can you not see? I have watched David from the start. And the truth is, he's trying to provoke a reaction. He wants us all to fall into violence and chaos, from which he can rise to power. We mustn't give him that satisfaction. We must remain calm. What are you thinking? Are you thinking about our child? Of course I am. Then I'm glad. If we go to war again, don't tell me I cannot fight. Don't tell me to go away. Let me do what I have to do, what I want to do. I want our child to hear the cries of battle. I want him to be a warrior. You should be so happy. They're not, you're not happy. We just lost the battle. So many died. Do you really think I should be happy? Fall! Hey, Bull, come and help us. Tor is heavy. We don't want anything to do with your temple, Torgrim. It's your business. And we won't be paying any taxes for it either. The way you talk, you don't sound like a bull. You sound like a dog. So that's what I'm going to call you. Bull the dog. <laughs> Say that again. Do yourself a favor, Paul. Step back. Say it again. Bull the dog. Come away, Boone! 